YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I have a very brief uh, pickups video for you here and a small correction uh, from a mistake I made in my last video, which uh, Joe Ness uh, pointed out to me. I believe it was Joe Ness uh, pointed out to me in the comments under the video. He said that the game that I had picked up, which was uh, this one right here, Scarface, The World Is Yours. He said, uh, the game he showed inside was Grand Theft Auto 3 and he was dead on right. Um, I had actually put Scarface in my machine uh, just to test it out before and uh, forgot that I had put a game in this case so I kind of messed it up a little bit but I did find the actual game. It was in a uh, freebie case that I had set aside whatever for putting you know loose games in or whatever. So there it is right there. Uh, Scarface and so I will rectify that situation immediately and show you what I got. So I didn't, um, you know, I didn't buy this one. This wasn't a pickup from today. This was actually from yesterday. And uh, it's a little bit dirty and it's not, definitely not perfect. It's kind of scratched up, but it should, should play, I think. Um, if it doesn't, I can resurface it. And now I will fix my mistake from before, which is with this Grand Theft Auto 3 disc. And there we go right there. Now it's uh, properly complete. Thank you for pointing that out to me because that probably would have ended up going on the shelf and me not even noticing that. So thank you very much, man. Uh, moving on though, I'll actually get to my pickups here and uh, hopefully there's no more mistakes happening. So the first thing that I did was stopped off at a Goodwill. There was nothing really there for me. I looked for a few titles. There are some stuff there and um, old me probably would have picked up uh, some of those things like previously, but I've been, although picking up tons of stuff lately, I've been picking up more quality stuff and less um, filler kind of stuff, I think, and I saw a lot of different kind of filler titles there, so I left them behind, wasn't really interested in them, but I did stop by the Tully's and they had a couple of titles there that I thought were interesting. Uh, the first one here is Ridge Racer for the DS, pretty cool, it is complete, so that's pretty wicked. Um, all the manuals and stuff are in there, like I said, because, well, it's complete. So, there it is. It's in good shape. It's got, uh, you know, it needs to be cleaned up, definitely, but otherwise, it's pretty decent. So, not too bad. And for that one there, I paid $3.99, so pretty good deal, I think. Uh, probably goes for that, but uh, pretty cool to get, you know, Ridge Racer type of game. And then moving on, I also picked up a copy of... Frogger Helmet Chaos, and the only thing that really interested me about this title was on the back here it says it includes the classic 1981 arcade game, so you can see that right there. Um, that's really the thing that interests me. The game itself might be um, interesting as well, and it kind of looks like one of those ones I like on the, the PlayStation 1 that has the, uh, you know, the Frogger kind of aspect, the 3D kind of aspect one, the remake version kind of thing, so... I'm looking uh, forward to that definitely and this one here is also complete which is really wicked has all the manuals and like the cautionary booklet and all that kind of good stuff inside um, unfortunately no Nintendo Club points in this one always like to find those bonus points when you can but um, same price on this one was four dollars so pretty cool um, again I'm not so much of a handheld guy I do have a sweet spot a little bit for the DS so really nice to find these titles anyways. Then uh, moving on here, I found um, another stop at a Value Village and I picked up one title and you're probably not going to be that interested in it, but I really picked this one up because I want to actually complete a Wii setup which is sitting over on the couch behind me here. Um, I'm just missing a couple of nunchucks for it, but I wanted to kind of pack in one of these sort of Wii, like Nintendo kind of titles. So there it is right there because it's Wii Play. Uh, the other titles that I have going with that system right now are pretty cheap ones and stuff like that. And this is a cheap title, but it is more of a recognizable name, so I think it'll help sell the system. Um, it is complete. It has Nintendo Club points in it, so I won't show you that part of it. But uh, there it is right there. And the disc on this one is not too bad. I'm sure it'll play. So that's that right there. That'll just end up being packed in with the system that I'm going to be selling. The only thing that's missing actually from the system is uh, 
the two nunchucks that I'm looking for to complete everything. And there it is right there, uh, $3.99 is what I paid for that. Uh, moving on, things got uh, quite a bit more interesting. I'm trying to decide which one to save to the last, but I think uh, I'll just go through in order. Um, I stopped by a Goodwill, same one that I found Rayman 2 at yesterday, same one that I found uh, Dreamcast controller at the day before. It's like they're bringing these, th these things out uh, one at a time or something, I'm not really sure. But I found Sonic Adventure, um, for the Sega Dreamcast at the same Goodwill I found all that other stuff and there it is right there the disc is not perfect on it it's kind of beat up it's not totally impossible or anything like that I think to play it probably will play so if not again I can always resurface that not a big deal and uh, for this one here Again, a good deal on this one today. They only charged me two bucks for it, so I don't know what's going on there because they usually charge like four dollars for these titles. It wasn't half price day, so I don't really know why she charged me only two bucks for it, but I wasn't going to question her on it. So two dollars for Sonic Adventure. Pretty killer deal right there. Uh, moving on, I stopped in at a pawn shop just um, nearby that Value Village that I was um, at before because I didn't really find a whole lot that day. and. Uh, I always stop in there when I have a little bit of time, if I have the extra time, because I wasn't finding a whole lot at the other stores, I would freed up some time later on because I wasn't standing in cash lines and stuff like that. So I stopped in at the pawn shop and found a few good titles. The first one here is Mad World, and I found this title uh, previously, I did buy this before. So this is a second copy of it for me. I just, I can't leave this game behind, I just love it so much, it's so cool. Um, and it was sitting there for five bucks, so Five dollars from a pawn shop for Mad World's pretty good deal, and it's totally complete as well. The disc on this one is pretty decent; it's not too bad at all. So, pretty wicked deal for five bucks. Um, this shop has like taxes and stuff like that on it, so he rang in a few games, and I'll show you the rest of them right now that I bought. But uh, he rang in a few games and actually just sort of like rounded for me, which was kind of nice because it actually worked. On for a few cents in my favor, basically. Uh, the next title that I picked out from there was Secret Files Tungusta, I think. This is uh, pretty interesting. I've never really heard of this title. I just thought it looked pretty cool. Um, it's like a experience a classic cinematic adventure, so I don't really know a whole lot about it. About so it. I'll have to check it out. But uh, it is complete right there. And again, unfortunately no Nintendo Club points, maybe the pawn shop uh, removes those before they sell the games, I don't really know, I haven't looked through all of them before. And the disc is in quite excellent condition. And again, on this one, they only wanted $5, and I'm pretty sure it's worth more than that, so pretty wicked. And then finally, the last game that I picked up, the last one I'm going to show you here today, is um, a PlayStation 3 title, again from the same pawn shop. And it was, it is, sorry, uh, Fallen Angel Sacred 2. Don't know a whole lot, lot about this necessarily, but it kind of caught my interest. I saw the shots on the back and stuff like that and thought it was interesting. You can see there that I paid $8 for that, um, but it's, I think it's well worth it. And again, uh, it's complete or I probably wouldn't pick things up from the pawn shop for these prices if it weren't. And uh, this one here is in pretty excellent shape as well so it's kind of perfect basically so for eight bucks I thought that was a pretty good deal basically my bill came out to uh, twenty dollars and sixty six cents or something like that and uh, he just ended up charging me twenty bucks for it so I thought that was pretty good because uh, it took off some of the tax anyways so for all that stuff today I thought I did pretty well again sorry for the inconsistency with the whole Scarface issue, that was from yesterday. Uh, keen eye on one of my subscribers there, they'll picking that out. So thank you very much, but uh, help me out there a lot to make sure that this was complete and goes on the shelf correctly. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.